Hi guys. For today's video I will teach you how to enable speed mode in your games to optimize any Android games using Brevent. So, if you want to know how to enable, please watch carefully so as not to make mistakes. I don't care what I want, I care what I need Every single day I'm heading off to my dream And I get Global repeat, Legends, and I damn well Arm 64, damn status, I'm speed running. I'm the only one that really want it I'm the only one that's really got it I'm just being honest I'm just doing everything I promise Cause I want First open Brevent, then download the link in comment section, and follow what I'm doing. Dumpsy's package name package is to check your app or game what profile it is. The default is speed profile. And please wait a minute, I explain to you later what the difference of speed and speed profile. Next, copy the code to enable speed. Name package, put the game package what you want to enable the speed. Like Mobile Legends, Call of Duty Mobile, or PUBG Mobile. To check package name, open DevCheck, then app. After entering the code, wait a second until you see the success. Then check the up. The status of Mobile Legends in ARM64 is, change to speed. What is the difference between speed, and speed profile? Speed. Description. The speed mode optimizes all parts of the app for maximum performance. The entire app code is pre-compiled. When to use. When you need the fastest performance right from the start. For critical apps that are used frequently and require fast execution. When you do not mind the larger storage space that might be required due to full pre-compilation. Benefit. The entire app is pre-compiled, ensuring it runs quickly even on the first use. Speed Profile. Description. The speed profile mode uses profile data to optimize only the parts of the app that are frequently used. Not all parts of the app are pre-compiled, only the critical paths based on usage profiles. When to use, when you want to save on storage space. For apps that are not critical or are used less frequently. When you want to balance fast performance with efficient storage usage. When you want faster install or update times because not all parts of the app are pre-compiled. Benefit. Smaller storage footprint is only frequently used parts of the app are pre-compiled. Comparison. Feature speed speed profile. Performance fastest. Fast for frequently used parts. Storage usage larger smaller. Compile time longer shorter. Initial launch fast from the start fast after profiling. Use CASA critical apps. 
Frequent use in non-critical apps, less frequent use. Using the PM Compile M Speed command can be beneficial for heavy games on Android. This command instructs the system to optimize the application for speed, which can result in faster load times and smoother performance for the game. Why use PM Compile M Speed for heavy games? Faster load times. The speed optimization aims to minimize the time needed to load DEX files, leading to quicker launch times for the game. Improved performance. By optimizing for speed, the application can run more quickly and responsively, which is crucial for games that require high performance. Reduced lag. Faster code execution can result in less lag or stuttering during gameplay, enhancing the overall user experience. Next, copy the CMD package compile M speed, check professor true package name. All I need took the ships from the sea and burnt them all. No retreat, it's killer. Get eat and get buried with the seeds, but that makes me feel free. Hella focused on my dreams. I got habits, they're established. I'm doing things a bit manic, but I can handle it. Juggle this, juggle that. Struggle here, lose some cash. Win and lose, make it back. You can choose your own path. Nothing good comes fast, nothing fast ever lasts. So I'll be patient, but attack every day like it's my last. Push the pedal to the gas, burn the using secondary DEX files can be very beneficial for heavy games on Android. Here are the reasons why. 1. Managing large codebases. DEX file size limitation. Android has a limit on the size of a single DEX file, 64K method references. For large games with many classes and methods, using secondary DEX files allows you to distribute the bytecode across multiple DEX files, preventing the single DEX file limit from being exceeded. 2. Performance optimization. Faster loading times. By compiling secondary DEX files, the game can dynamically load non-essential classes and methods as needed, reducing the initial loading time. Incremental loading. Instead of loading all game assets and code at startup, the game can load parts of it as the player progresses. This provides a faster and more responsive user experience. 3. Dynamic Feature Modules Modularization Games can modularize their features, using secondary DEX files to load specific game modules or features only when necessary. For example, a game can load different level packs or game modes dynamically without loading everything up front. 4. Compatibility with Multidex Support for Multidex Android has built-in support for Multidex, making the use of secondary DEX files seamless and well-supported. Tools and libraries offer solutions to ensure that all secondary DEX files are properly loaded and optimized. Key considerations. Code optimization. Ensure that your codebase is optimized to minimize the size of each DEX file. Multidex configuration. Proper configuration of Multidex in your build system, e.g., Gradle, is essential to ensure smooth loading of secondary DEX files. Thorough testing. Conduct thorough testing of the game on various devices to ensure that loading secondary DEX files works smoothly and without issues. Overall, using secondary DEX files is an effective way to handle large codebases, optimize performance, and provide a better user experience for heavy games on Android. How to reset to default? Actually, you can't reset it if your phone is not rooted, even if you restart your phone, but there is a way to get it back to normal. How to back default? Yeah. 
Open the Z-Archiver first, and then change the name of the Mobile Legends file folder or any games you change. Then uninstall the game app, and install it again. After installing the app, first open the Z-Archiver then restore the previous file name you changed, before opening the game. Then check the game in Brevin, the game goes back to, ARM64 status equals speed profile. And that's it guys, thanks for watching.